Until you do right by me and subscribe to this channel, even everything you think gonna fail. What you waiting on, fam? Subscribe. What's good, Houston? It's your boy Kobe Cole. Welcome to Houston Eats. We back one more again, fam. Hey, check this out, man. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, patong, and hit that like button, budong. That way you can be locked in for more good content coming your way, fam. Hey, check this out, man. We got something real special for you today, man. I'm about to put them paws on you, fam. I'm gonna put them paws on you. More in particular, them chicken paws, or better known as chicken feet. Now, I already know. I already know what some of y'all are saying, fam. Coley Cole, chicken feet? What is you doing, fam? Hey, trust me, I'm about to show you what I'm doing, man. And you're gonna be able to do it too. If you wanna stick to that regular, juggler, snuggler, fried chicken wings, or, or, or fried drumsticks, or, or thighs, maybe the same for you, but fam. If you wanna expand your horizons and check out some new stuff, some exotic things, I'm trying to tell you, fam. I'm trying to tell you. So I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, man, from the deep bit of South, man, and we like chicken feet down there. Not everybody, not everybody. I ain't trying to put everybody out there like that. But a lot of people like chicken feet, fam. But you ain't never heard of fried chicken feet. And I'm trying to tell you, man, hey, man, if you like pork cracklings and stuff of that nature, it's kind of like in the line of that, all right? You can stay a lot crock ready to rock. I'm about to show you what to do with this crock pot, fam. Nah, no crock pot involved, man. Just a deep fryer, some flour, some egg wash, and I'm about to show you what to do right now, all right? Check this out. All right, man, so first off, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get you some nice, clean chicken feet, all right? You can get them from your local grocery store. You wanna get about two pounds, all right? Make sure when you get your chicken feet, you wash them bad boys, man. You wanna wash them, and a lot of times they have these little things on their little paws or whatever. You gotta just cut them things off. Those unappetizing little brown spots, just take them off, fam. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing harmful about it. Just take it off, because you don't wanna ingest that, all right? Next, you wanna clip them. This is optional. Now, for me personally, I don't like to clip my lips because, hey, man, that's just more, that's more flavor, more meat. But, hey, this thing right here, if you're making it for other people, it's already a little off-putting, right? So you want to make it as appetizing as possible. So just, to, you know, for newcomers, just cut the little tips off, cut the little nails off. That way it's not as intimidating for people who want to try it. Or maybe for you. If it's your first time making it, you might want to clip it off because you just don't like the idea of biting something that look like a little toddler's fingers. I don't know, man. But <laughs> you might want to bite on something that look like a, a, a gremlin hand, all right? So, hey, you can clip them things off if you want to, but it's totally optional. I like to leave them on, right? Then you want to make sure you wash them with salt, water, and vinegar. Now, that vinegar, the acid in the vinegar, and that salt and that abrasion is going to get rid of all those impurities that may be residing in the food. So you wanna go ahead and get that stuff washed off, man. Then you wanna get right ready for your boil. Now your boil is where you're gonna get a lot of your seasons. Traditionally, if you had some chicken and you wanted to like season it, you would marinate it. But because the chicken feet are like really kind of tough before you uh, do anything to them, you don't want to put them straight into the fryer. So what you wanna do is you wanna boil them and you wanna put seasoning in that boil so that the, so that the seasoning is in and throughout that chicken paws, all right? But one thing for certain, you definitely want to make sure you put a little vinegar in that because putting that vinegar in that bowl is going to be paramount to making that thing real tender and juicy for you, fam. Because you don't want to be chewing on those uh, uh, tough chicken feet, all right? What you're going to put, you're going to put, like I said, vinegar, salt, pepper, black pepper to be exact, Creole seasoning, Greek seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, chicken bouillon, paprika, sage, and adobo, a little bit of accent, some turmeric for that color and a little bit of that flavor. And I got this special little thing that you can get from mo most grocery stores. It's a fiesta the brand it's called veggie sprinkles you put that in there trust me fam you don't want to omit that one it adds a lot of extra flavor that you don't want to miss out on and then you can top it off with some body uh, complete season you put all that stuff in that bowl and you let that thing boil for a good i say 35 to 40 minutes that way that thing come out extra tender and juicy you're not done there fam yeah so you're going to want to let that thing cool down either in the freezer or in your refrigerator if you put it in the freezer leave it in there for about, about 10 minutes if you put it in there for the refrigerator about 15 20 minutes that should be enough time for your chicken feet to cool down get down to a decent temperature so that way you can get ready to put it in the egg wash speaking of the egg wash let me show you how to make that. So your egg mixture is going to consist of about two to three eggs, all right? Sometimes if you're making a big bat, it's going to be about 
out for it. All measurements and ingredients are going to be on the screen. I'm going to have it in the description down below. So if you want to know how much of each of these ingredients you're going to be using, I'm going to have it in the description below. All right. So make sure you look out for that. Okay. So with the egg mixture, you're going to want two to three eggs. Now fam, this step, you don't want to skip. It's optional. It, uh, it is optional. Only reason it's optional is because it's a little pricey. You're going to want to add some aged balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to show you in the screen right here exactly which one I'm talking about. It's about $18 a bottle fam. But trust me, I know that's very pricey. A little goes a long way. You don't have to add but so much. And I'm telling you, you can add it to virtually anything. It's not your regular 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 vinegar. It's, it's very versatile. And I haven't put it on anything that it hasn't enhanced the flavor. You can put it on steak. You can put it on vegetables. You can even put it on ice cream fam. Yeah, that's right. I ain't never tried it, but I heard you can put it on ice cream. Hey, I wouldn't doubt it because this stuff is, is really good. And it actually has a really, really sweet note to it. So I can believe it. That being said, with your egg mixture, you want to put, you want to put salt, pepper, orange popcorn salt, which I'm going to have on the screen right there so you can know at the visual exactly what I'm talking about when I say that. Creole seasoning, Greek seasoning, body of complete seasoning, heavy cream. And you actually want to add a little bit of jalapeno or pickle juice. Jalapeno juice or pickle juice. I'm telling you, I'm going to add an extra little kick, but that's also optional. You're going to add paprika, veggie pickles again, and then you're going to finish that thing off with some accent, all right? And trust me, fam. You mix that thing on up, beat it down to oblivion, and then you're going to want to dip your chicken feet in that egg batter, and then you're going to dip it into your flour. Now, your flour is going to be seasoned with all the ingredients that I told you to put in that bowl, minus the vinegar, all right? Now, once you got your chicken feet nice and coated, looking all breaded and good and ready to get in that grease, fam, that's when you're going to just go ahead and drop them things in that fryer for about two or three minutes or until they're golden brown. Because remember, the chicken feet are already cooked, so they don't have to cook that long. You just try to get that nice crust on them so they're looking real nice, presentable, crunchy, and tasting, delectable, and juicy, fam. Now, once you put them things in that fire, take them things out. <sighs> Boy, I'm trying to tell you, man, you can be in for a treat, man. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. I know you're probably looking at these things like, oh, my God. Why am I eating that? Hey, fam, man, trust me. If you expand your horizon, expand your horizons. I'm trying to tell you, man, it's going to be worth it, man. It's going to be worth it. You, 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 trust me, man, your boy Cola Co ain't led you wrong yet, man. Check this out, man. I'm trying to tell you. You definitely want to try this recipe. But, hey, I ain't going to overtalk this thing. Let's get into tasting it. Since, hey, if you don't believe me, let's go ahead and taste this thing, fam. All right, fam, right. it's the moment of truth. We got our nice, beautiful, delicious chicken feet right here. I know it look crazy. I know if you're not used to this, you're not used to eating this, I know how crazy this look, fam. But trust me, man. Trust me, trust me. These things are delectable, man. I, now, nah, I just got to be on camera showing you how good this thing is so you know it ain't no cap in what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that crisp action, man. Look at that. Come on, now. Come on. You know, even if you're a little weird of that, you got to admit it kind of look good. You kind of want just, just taste a little bit just to see how it tastes. Even as weird as it look, I know you kind of want to taste a little bit. Maybe not some of y'all, but I know it's definitely some of y'all out there who want to take a bite out of this. Fred not, I got you covered, man. So if you want to know what this is kind of like, man, it's kind of like the chicken version of kind of like cracklings or pork skins. It's not like a whole lot of meat on here. It's a nice uh, golden crust. It's kind of, you know, chewy, fatty, like not in a bad way, in a delectable, delicious, juicy way. And it's kind of like finger food, man, in a way, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a whole lot of these if you want it to be a substantial meal or, or a decent amount of sides. It's more like some fun, tasty thing to eat, man. That's, that's pretty much what this is, man. You know, it's not something you want to get to just get filled up on. It's a nice, delectable little thing. But hey, man, I ain't going to overtalk this thing. Let me let you know how this thing tastes, all right? <laughs> That's good, man. I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. Look at that. Check this out, man. You know, I like to nibble on the little tips right here. Mmm. I hope I'm taking it off. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Oh, you can't beat. Oh, man, you can't beat this, man. I know it look crazy. If you're not used to it, but man, I promise you. I promise you. This is delectable. And I know in the ingredients like the flour and the egg mix, there's a lot of different ingredients found. And I know if y'all don't want to use that, just use whatever you would normally put in your flour, your fried chicken, salt, pepper, you know, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, the usual thing, whatever y'all put in there, you don't have to be as, as complex as I got it. You know, keep it simple, man. But I'm telling you, man, this right here, oh man. Mmm. 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 I ain't really no mukbang person, but man, I wanna, mmm. 
Mm. 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 I'm about to kill it. I'm about to kill it, but look. While I still got a little bit of dignity, I want to ask you to please, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video and you think it's informative or you think it's a cool idea, hey man, like the video, man. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment down below, man, what you thought about the video. Would you, would you, would you try chicken feet or was it a pass for you? And let me know uh, what you would have did different if you do like chicken feet, all right, man? But look, um, I also do food reviews around Houston, you know, I'm not just cooking videos. So if you want to, if you're interested in that, hey man, check out the channel, man. Check out some other videos I got where I go around Houston trying different establishments trying their restaurants and you know trying their food and i got some also some other cooking recipes too man so you know it's a wealth of things that y'all can check out while you're here uh on the channel man but look i ain't gonna hold y'all up i'm gonna let you get back to your wonderful amusing beautiful lives man and i just want you to know i love y'all take care of yourselves and until next time peace